Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and this is going to be an action-packed video where we look at Canva. It is one of the most user-friendly design tools that you can use to make money on the internet with little to no experience about design in the first place. Canva is the tool that I learned when I first got into college and it helped me to get opportunities both in freelancing and internship and to work in my college societies. So this is one tool that I think everyone should at least know how to use. I'm just blown away by looking at what all you can do with the help of Canva. And in this video, I will show you exactly what you can do. This video is divided into three parts. Number one is this part, which is introduction to Canva and why is it important? Number two is going to be all the applications. What all can you do with the help of Canva? And number three is going to be all the features that Canva has, right? What all can you design with the help of it? Starting with the number one, Canva is a free design tool that you can use to create social media posts, to make your presentations, to make book covers, to make pretty much anything that you want, like thumbnails, logos, whatever you think, infographics, you can make logos, you can make actual functional websites with the help of Canva, which I will show you how to do in this tutorial. Make sure that you watch till the end and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and let's get started with Canva. Here we go. So this, as you can see, is Canva. It's a free to use tool. Of course, you can upgrade, but I have, I have deliberately chosen the free tier to show you what opportunities and things you can do. That being said, here we are at the homepage of Canva and look at what all you can create. You can make whiteboards, presentations, social media. Now this includes uh, Instagram posts, stories, Facebook posts, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever graphic you need to create that goes on social media, you can actually create that with the help of Canva, right? They actually have specific dimensions that they have set for you to directly start using. There are a ton of different templates that make life a lot easier over here on Canva that we will be exploring in just some time in this video. You can also edit videos with the help of Canva as you can see over here. You can create websites. Now this is really cool. If you go on Fiverr or Upwork, you will find a ton of work if you know how to build websites for people. We will see how to build websites over here as well. You can edit videos. You can also make all of these different designs that we will be exploring in this video. So that is a basic idea about Canva and what all can we do. Now just to give you a quick example of how does an interface really work, let's just say we want to make a simple square shaped Instagram post, right? So what you would do is either you can click on custom size in which you can define the width and height of the canvas that you want and then you can start working. Or what you can do is you can just click on create a design and click on Instagram post, right? It's very effective. We can go on square and it creates a 1080p into 1080, you know, uh, size canvas in front of us. This is what it looks like. Now, let me show you how does this actually work. So we have this section of the screen over here, wherein we have elements. First of all, we have templates, right? So with templates, what you can do is, without any effort from your end, you can look at, templates or designs of social media posts made by the best designers on Canva available to you right over here in the template section. There are some that are paid over here in the template section, but there are also plenty of free ones. I have been using Canva for the past three years and it has been a game changer both for the opportunities it got for me in my freelancing career and my YouTube channel and it was also great for MarketUp. So a lot of the thumbnails that we create at MarketUp are created with the help of Canva itself. Moreover, Canva just makes it a lot easier for us to collaborate as a social media agency. So that is a great factor about Canva as well. So that is what you get with templates. If you just go down, if you click on any of these, you can just click once and this design will be applied on your canvas right here. You can just make some quick and easy edits. So you can say uh, social media post designing. You can say, you can change this however you like. You can change the positioning of this box. You can also change the font if you don't like it. So we can always go for a different font over here. We can, let's just say, go for Colkeef and then we can increase the size of this font as well by clicking over here or entering our own value. We can also change this. 
The same we can do for other boxes as well. And for this background that you see over here, which has this gradient effect, you can also change it to however you like, right? So you can use, um, you know, solid colors or you can also go to the background section and you can choose different backgrounds. Let's just say I want to use this background. So I can apply that over here as well. And that's what you get at the end. So this is a basic idea of how um, you know templates work over here you can design it you can first of all click on any template that you like and then you can make it your own right you can make all the changes you can change the colors the fonts the you know the sizes the actual text that is written on it and then you can just click on share and you can quickly download it with png and just click on download that is how easy it is for you to start using Canva and start getting your first design ready, right? Again, you don't need to be an expert in design if you want to start using Canva and building some great looking designs that you can post on social media. That's the best part about Canva that I felt in person. Then we have elements, right? So here are some things that you can add to your design. For example, I want to add this, this uh, icon of a plane. I can put it over here maybe. Now you can see it also has some grids. It shows you that this is um, how you can place it in a more symmetrical way over here on this post. You can change the color of this icon as well. So I would like for it to be white because that's, you know, it's a contrasting color. But you can find a ton of different things, right? For example, you have these icons, you have these stickers, which are basically like GIFs. You also have lines and shapes. So for example, you have these lines, you have these shapes, you can go down and you can find other shapes as well. And then you can just start using them over here. So let's say we have this one shape, you can change its dimensions and then you can continue using this, right? So that's basically how this works over here. Going down, we have uploads, right? So this is basically uh, a place where you can upload your own files, right? So you no longer need to use the stock footages. You can also upload your own, you know, pictures or videos over here and audio as well right now. So you can upload files. You can also record yourself, right? So what this basically does is that if you want to, you know, shoot your own video and then directly insert it in this Canva design, you can do that as well, right? So you can just click on um, camera, access and then you can start using it with your microphone and your webcam on this laptop so that's basically how this works i'll just click on cancel uh, we don't need to give this permission all right now you can also see this button called as animate right so this is basically a way for you to create some animations for this particular canvas for example you can make it like this you can make it sleek and you can use a plethora of different effects available to you right here, right? Like a scrapbook animation or a neon animation. You can also use a block one over here as well. You can use a stomp one as well. Then what you can do is you can just download this as a video file and then you can use it in your video elements if that is what you want. Or if you want none, then you can always click on remove all animations right here. Uh, then we have the text part. This is where you can add text in your post or in your design. Just, just click on add a text box and then you can write whatever you want, right? Maybe you want to write your name, so you write the name and you want to change the font. Let's just say we want to keep it uh, P Sans. We can increase this to maybe 50. We can change the text color if you want to do that. We can also align it. So we can change the alignment from center to left to right to justify text. You also have list. So basically this is similar to Microsoft Word if you've used it, it's pretty much the same. Then you also have spacing, right? So then you have letter spacing. The space between individual letters is what you can change over here. So as you can see, if I increase it, this is how it looks. I can also decrease it and it will then be shoved um, towards each other, all the letters. Right, so that's basically how this works. I'll just click on zero. Then we have line spacing. This is basically between each line. How much space do you want to leave? That's what you can define over here. Then you also have anchor text box. Do you want to keep it at the center or towards the bottom or towards the upper part? Then you have effects that you can add. So first of all, we had animations for the whole slide. Then we have these effects that are for particular boxes, particular elements in your design. So we can create 
different effects for how we want this to appear. Just to give you an example of what this looks like, I just need to copy, put it over here, and then I can start using all of these effects, right? So we have different effects like hollow, splice, we have echo, we can change the, you know, things over here like the offset, we can change the direction as well, we can change the color if that's what you want to do. And that is how this works, right? So this is how you can alter the effects for this thing. You can also make it neon and we can do some cool stuff over here, right? So that's basically how this works. You can also curve this text if you want to do that and you can change the curvature of it as well, right? So depending on the radius, you can change the curvature. So uh, that's basically how this works, guys. It's a pretty interesting addition to what we've already been doing, right? So that's how that works. What else do we have? We can also change the timing for this thing. If you want it to be 10 seconds, then you can do that, or you can just keep it like as it is. Then we have the photos section. This is where you can use the stock footage that, that Canva has on their system. You also have styles. So these are basically, you know, sets of color schemes and font styles that you can use in your system. So this includes all types of font families that you can use and different colors with contrasting colors that you can use in your design, right? Maybe the, the background is of gray and the text is of a more lighter color or a more darker color to be appearing properly. So that's how that works over here in the style section. Um, now you can change it to your liking. If I click over here, I can change it to this color or this color and I can always keep, you know, randomly adjusting and tweaking these things to get to a point where I like this design. So as you can see, this is how it works. This is completely random guys, right? So you can also change it to this and I can keep shuffling this design right here. So that's basically how this works guys. It's a pretty interesting addition over here as well. Then you have videos, right? So you can also add videos to your own design, right? So let's just say you want to add a video of this aerial shot. You can put it over here and now you can also crop it if you want to do that, right? Like this and you can convert it into a video format, right? So previously we were making a simple design. Now it has become like a proper video thing. Then we have backgrounds that you can apply for each post and that is basically how this works, right? This is the basics. These are the tools that you have at Canva and I hope that this video is making sense so far. If you are liking it and if you are getting some value from this, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well. Now this is for a simple social media post. The next part is going to be for videos. If you want to edit a video, how do you do that? Let's try to figure that out over here with us. So this is the timeline that you can see over here. I will be talking about this in just a brief moment, but just like previously, we have all of these different elements and things that we can add. Starting with a simple video, let's just say that you want to add a video of this, this place. We can enlarge it and then we can start using this. So once you've added this video clip, you can continue adding more video clips over here as well, or we can actually create transitions. So once we have this page, we can add another video clip to it. As you can see right here, you can also clip, you can also crop these, right? So if you want to do that, you can do that very easily like this. Or you can also flip these if that's what you want to do. That's how this works. You can cut it down if you want to do that. So we can maybe just keep it till this point and click on done and we can continue editing these videos, right? You can also uh, do a lot of interesting things over here with the video element itself. If you want to do some color grading or color correction, you can do that right here. You can change the warmth, the tint, you can change the brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, fade. Then we go to colors where you can change the vibrance, saturation, X process and the vignettes. Right? So that's basically how this works. We don't need to go into the depth of all of that because again, this is not a video about color grading and video editing. This is just a basic introduction to how you can start using a tool like Canva to edit videos, right? So if you just do this, we are just filling up the canvas and this is how this looks. So if you just play this video right now, this is how it looks. We can also 
trim it down like this if you can see over here we can bring it tight to zero and then we can play this and we can see how this video looks right there can be a transition in between of these two clips as well that we can add over here we can add a page if you want to do that let's just say you want to add some forests right here so we can do that as well we can trim these to our liking we can put some text over this as well if you want to do that so let's just say that we say thank you we can change wait a minute let's just pick something else so if we click on something like huge sale right we change this color to maybe white and then we can add some effects to it as well right maybe we want to animate and you want to do this right so that's how this will then appear to us now if i were to show you how this works now let me just trim this down a little bit more so that things are a bit more clear let me add a transition i can choose transitions from over here maybe dissolve is what i want to do um, then we have a slide we can also choose the direction of the slide and the you know how fast that sliding actually happens we can also go for circle wipe or stack chop match and move so these are just some things that you can do to make the video look more engaging and edit it in a better way so if i just play this right now this is how the video looks this is how it works so what you will see is that there was a transition then there was the animation for this new slide and then there was the fade out and this is what the next clip looks like so that's what you can do with uh, the help of of canva you can edit these videos very easily you can also go for maybe you want to subscribe you want to add a subscribe animation to your video so you can just do that right here so we can just reduce the size of it we can make it place it over here at the center and then i can just play like this right so that's basically how this works again you can you can change anything that you want about it ishan we can make it like this so th that's basically how canva works it's a very simple to use tool as you can see i'm not doing something too complex i'm just clicking here and there and just creating this video right in front of you um, just as a demo right this is not like a final version obviously you can make a lot of changes to this if you want to do that so that's basically how this works guys you can also change the styles you can add your own photos you can add your own videos you can also add arrows over here basically whatever element that you want you can add it with the help of canva now this is great for editing reels if you are working with a creator and editing reels then you can start using canva for reels as well now if you can learn how to edit reels with the help of canva then that is a great way for you to start working and making money on the internet working with creators and you know this doesn't take a lot of effort like with other softwares you might need to install it you might need to buy it you might need to download some huge file and then it starts to work and maybe you have a laptop that doesn't support or is slow right so in that case you need to have a software that can work on the cloud that is where canva comes into the picture so that's basically how canva works and how effective this is i absolutely love how user-friendly canva has become and the different varieties that you have over here to make things happen right your creativity is basically going to be the only thing that's required to start building things over here right so that's basically how the video editing works moving on to the next part which is going to be the website element now this is a really cool thing you can actually make proper websites with the help of canva now these are going to be statically generated sites these are not going to have a backend particularly but for a lot of businesses they just want their online presence where people can know about who they are and where they are located and what is the menu of the restaurant or what is the prices and you know doing that with the help of canva is quite simple and easy just to give you a basic example um, what you can do is you can just click on portfolio website let's see how we can make our own portfolio website right without needing to know how to code that is the most important part about canva you don't need to know to code and you can build these really nice looking websites from scratch 
Now, either you can start with these templates, which are a great source for you to start your website. So I just clicked on this template, which says, hi, I am this, 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 and I am an illustrator. And then there's a button called as hire me. So these are designs, right? Now you might be wondering, Ki bhai, isse hoga kya? like what do I do after I make this? Just to give you an example, we can just click on publish this website, right? So once you have made your website, in my case, I've used a template and you can make the changes in this template as well. Change the name, add whatever element that you want with the help of Canva. You can add a video as well. You can add all of those things and then you can click on publish this website. So we will click on resize on mobile. What that basically means is that if someone opens your website on a mobile phone, on a screen size that is different from a laptop, it adjusts and is dynamic to the screen sizes. You can also click on with navigation, which is always better. Then we will click on a free domain, right? So basically this will be a subdomain of Canva itself, which is going to be for you for completely free. You can also buy a new domain with the help of Canva, or if you already have a domain, then you can just attach your website with that domain particularly. So I would just go for the free domain right here and I would just click on my personal site and I'll just click on publish. Now this website, if you optimize it for search, it can also rank on Google. This is our website is now live. As you can see over here, this is how it looks like. I can share this link with all of you and you can open it on your site, on your laptop as well. So that's basically how this works, but this is just a design. This is just like a, you know, PDF, if you may. If I click on hire me, kuch hota hota nahi hai, right? It just directs me to the bottom of the website. You can also get a preview of the website that you've created right inside of Canva to see how it would look like on a laptop screen, right? And you can also change it to a phone. This is how it would look on a phone screen. So that's basically how this works. I will click on close. And one thing that you can do over here is that you can click on publish and click on continue, publish. And once this is live, we can basically just click on copy and we can now paste and go to this site right here. If I click on, you know, send an email, this will now redirect me to my Gmail or any other mail client. That's how this looks. That's how this works. Now I can attach any other link to it as well if I want to do that. So I can just go back to this same site. I can click on get in touch and I can sort of change the link that is attached to this page. So I can click over here and I can add any link that I want. Let's just say I want to add the link of my YouTube channel itself. So I'll just go over here. I'll copy this and I would just paste it over here and press on enter. Now, if I were to publish this particular site, I would just click on continue and then publish. And now my site is going to be ready. If I click on this get in touch box, this will then redirect me to my own channel. So you can do a lot of things with the help of this site. As you can see with just using that template, I can change this image, I can change this text and I can make this website my own. I can also change the color scheme of this website. Right, I can change it to this style, right? Look how amazing this feels. See how easy it is for me to just change the look and feel of this website by, you know, just changing the color palette. I can also mess with the text if I want to do that. And that is basically how this works, right? That is pretty much all that you have in Canva. Again, sky is the limit over here. As you can see, it just depends on what you want to build and how do you want to build it? You can do it with the help of Canva itself. Again, as I said, you can build your presentations, social media, videos, websites, and so much more, right? As you can see right here, you can make infographics with the help of Canva. Using all the tools available, elements available over here, you can use templates, and then you can change the text and the logos, and you can make it your own. That is how simple it is for you to start using Canva. You can literally start using templates, editing them, and then 
giving these to the editors and then sharing this with your client and making a lot of money in the process. Now you can also get the paid subscription of Canva which will give you access to a lot more assets in their elements library. In the photos, as you can see, this thing that says Pro, you can get access to all of these assets with the help of the Canva subscription. Now, it is just like 3000 rupees per year, but with the help of this, you get access to all of these, you know, tons of photos, videos, elements, templates, you can do all of that. And if you are a freelancer, this can be really valuable to you. So you can check out the link in the description to get the paid subscription as well. Market up ki puri team hai, they are using the paid subscription of Canva and we have gotten a lot of benefit from it. So you can take a look at that as well if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.